So thank you very much for um, tuning in to another Ron and Cut session. Uh, thank you for taking the time out, deciding to click on us. My name is Jacob Kluter, and um, today I want to speak about stupidity. Stupidity that I believe is the biggest pandemic that we're currently facing in, in South Africa. And it, it has been frustrating me a lot lately. Uh, if you can remember my very, very first Rowan and Cut um, segment was about the compulsory vaccination policy. And to me, it was uh, a very stupid move by some organizations to enforce a compulsory COVID vaccination policy uh, when those same people would go and sit and eat at a restaurant where they don't care about employees um, or the, 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 the vaccination uh, status of the people they're sitting and eating with or the people who are serving them food. So to me, that, that is just stupid. Uh, so, and lately I've, I've seen that this might be the biggest pandemic that we're currently um, facing in South Africa is, 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 is stupidity. For example, uh, for months in, in the media, I've been seeing Gwede Mantase talking about uh, fossil fuels, uh, that that is what South Africa currently needing. Yes, maybe in the short term is what we needing is, is fossil fuels, but it's really not a long term solution. And if ESCOM and, 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 and how the war in, in, in Ukraine is, is affecting us um, now, is, is, it doesn't um, let you look to the, to the future, then I, I really don't know why is even the minister for that specific department. Uh, we currently, as I'm sitting, I'm talking to you, um, I'm experiencing, uh, experiencing load shedding. So, and that is because of, of, of diesel and water. It's fossil fuel. So just, 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 just think, think for a moment, Gwede Mentase, when, when you advocate for, for, for these type of, 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 of policies and, 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 and solutions that you're coming up you are supposed to be a minister that have a long-term view. That is your job, is, is to think South Africa out of this crisis. Uh, not in the short term, but in the long term. The sun, which is an untapped source of energy. Uh, that in, in South Africa, is sun for most time of the year. There is, it's now is the time to transfer and, and look at a long-term solution when it comes to energy. And, and I think renewable energy and especially solar energy is, 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 is one of the best solutions that we, that we can think about. So I'm frustrated in, in that particular sense. The other thing that's frustrating me is um, some people who have, uh, have been chasing out uh, foreigners in, in, in South Africa. And it's not foreigners, it's people from specific countries on the African continent. And um, they believe that these people have come in and taken their jobs. The issue is there is a massive unemployment in South Africa. And the reason why there is massive unemployment in South Africa is because we're living in the most unequal country in the world. So if you live in the most unequal country in the world, meaning that a small minority in South Africa is actually extracting the resources and, and, um, and have large amount of wealth, based on uh, the, the large majority who have to be poor. So yes, people are frustrated uh, about um, not getting employment, especially South African, but it's not our foreign brothers and sisters who is, is, who is the pro uh, problem. The problem is the people who employ them because they don't want to employ South Africans because South Africans have specific rights that, 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 they, that they have to adhere to. So our foreign brothers and sisters are coming from countries where they're exploited and they're coming to South Africa to get further exploited and then there's even violence towards them to push them out of this particular country. So once again, that's just not a thinking society is that uh, we are competing for a small uh, uh, number of jobs where we have to think about really how we're going to address the situation. 
uh, and, and, and the government doesn't have a plan. It doesn't have a plan. The 30, 2030 plan is a new national development plan is, is, is eight years from, from, from coming into fruition and it's far from coming from, from, from fruition. So they don't have our interest. So talking about uh, the, South, the South African government um, and especially the ANC led government, I think uh, that there is no more thinkers in that specific organization. I, and I'm asking myself the question is, what happened? We, especially that specific organization, there were such lovely and brilliant thinkers that could think of future. Now it's thinking about interest. Uh, bringing back to Gwede Mantashe, he's thinking about interest. He's not thinking about the large majority and his children and his children's children because they're privileged, they might escape this particular country and his friends, can, um, friends children, they can es escape this particular country. But the, the, but the majority of us that, is, that have to stay, we don't have a privilege to, to jump borders when, you, when shit is hitting the fan, have to stay here and, and deal with the mess. So these politicians doesn't have your interest. Um, none of these uh, politicians, not Julius, um, not uh, uh, the McKenzie guy, uh, not not the white guy from 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 the from from the DA Stenazen, um, Sil Ramaphosa since. I think since day one with the, from the negotiation, doesn't have the best interest of any South African um, at heart. So, is this stupidity, this pandemic that I'm saying, the biggest pandemic is, is stupidity, is it because they are stupid or have we become stupid as a South African society? Have we become stupid to believe everything that they have been saying uh, over the past and, and, and the promise that they have been making about it? So. When is this going to change? That's the question I constantly ask you. When is this going to change? And I've come to the realization, it's only going to change if we're going to do something about it as South Africa. So I'm so desperate that I'm even thinking maybe if I run as an independent candidate uh, in, in 2024, maybe uh, South Africans have a better, a better choice to, or better option than they would say currently, but what's currently there. I don't see any choice currently. I, I personally don't know who to vote for in, 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 in the next election. The, the only person that I would vote for, for is me because at least um, I would listen to people. I will not have the power, but at least I would listen to people and bring their matters in front of people or, or, make, or make a noise about it because there is no interest that that, that I really want to serve, uh, the, the, there's, there's nothing. So if there's more people like me feeling, um, feeling like this, I think it's time for us then to do something about this particular situation because the government, the polit political parties and these companies is not going to do anything. So it's time that us are doing something, stand up. Um, if you want to be an independent candidate in, in, in local, local government election, provincial and national elections, please do it. If you feel like you want to do something in South Africa, please don't look to the government. Get up and do something. Um, start an organization. Um, do whatever needs to be done to change your life and the people around, your, around you's life. So that is my rant. For, for, for today. Um, I'm sorry that you have to listen to this, but maybe there is some people out there that, that is frustrated as me by the stupidity. And when you see these people and, and, and whenever you do, think about what I said um, and all of these comments, it is stupidity that it got us there, got us here and but it will definitely not be stupidity that will get, out, get us out of, of this particular mess. Thank you for watching this rant. Um, until we see you again. It's, until I see you again. Uh, and sorry for the broken English. It's just that I'm... Uh, but my English was broken since day one. But sorry for this um, passion. But there was no other way um, that I could have bring it to you because it would be lack of any emotion. So 
Thank you for watching. Until we, until we see each other or you see me again. Thank you for watching.